In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my new favourite running shorts, the Twilight and Twilight Split Shorts from the US running company, Tracksmith. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh, a medical student and GB age group triathlete here in London. On this channel, we talk all things running, triathlon, whether that be training tips or product reviews, running shoe reviews, and today running shoe shorts reviews. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting subscribe down below. So yes, I'm going to be talking about my new favorite pairs of running shorts, the Twilight Shorts and the Twilight Split Shorts from Tracksmith. These I've had for a couple of months, and I have to say, hands down, these are the best running shorts I've ever run in by far. I'm gonna split this review up into five parts. We're gonna talk about the length of the shorts, the material, the number of pockets and placement of pockets, the styling and the price, and the timestamps for those will be in the description down below. So let's talk about the length of these running shorts, and that's an incredibly personal thing. Personally, I like a different length running shorts for different types of runs. I like slightly longer, normally between four and five inch inseam shorts for those kind of medium to long runs, maybe social runs, anything where I'm probably gonna be popping to the grocery store on the way home. However, I think that definitely is a time and a place for short three inch split shorts, that kind of thing, when you're running fast or you're racing in them. That's why I decided to get two pairs of these shorts, the normal ones, which have a five inch seam, so mid thigh, a very sociable, comfortable length, and the split shorts with a three inch seam, which are perfect for running and racing fast. And I have to say, both of these shorts are absolutely the perfect length for their respective categories, no problems there. To talk about the material of these shorts, they are 85% polyester and 15% elastane. Now, honestly, I got no idea what that means and how that compares to other pairs of running shorts, but what I can tell you is the material feels absolutely great. It's super lightweight and doesn't have any chafing problems in between my legs. And it doesn't tend to hold a really bad body odor smell like most synthetics I find. There's also a liner inside to help with comfort. And I find this to be one of the most uncomfortable liners that I've had in any pairs of running shorts. Overall, I've got no problems with the material or the build quality. Having used these for a couple of months, I've got no worries as to how long they'll last and I'm really pleased with how they feel every time I put them on. Pockets, again, are a very personal thing, and it really depends on what you want to carry. Personally, I like to run with very little, so I normally just run with my watch, which can play music to my earbuds, I bring my keys, and I often bring a debit card in case I need to get home quickly, or I need to pop to the shops or get a cup of coffee with some friends after my run. I also really like things to feel secure in my pockets. I hate things bouncing around or rustling and knocking into each other. That just doesn't inspire confidence, especially if I'm gonna be using something like a pair of split shorts for some faster training runs. And that's why I have to say the pockets in these shorts are absolutely perfect. As you can see, we have three small pockets just inside the rear waistband. These are big enough for couple of keys or pretty much the perfect size for a debit card or even a small gel if you fold it in half for those race day nutrition if that's how you want to carry it. And the thing that makes this really good system is that the pockets are pretty much in line with the waistband so when you pull the drawstring tight it stops anything from bouncing out the top of them. No zips, no extra faff, it just kind of holds it all in there nice and securely and I've had absolutely nothing fall out no matter how fast I run. I've been on the track with keys and a debit card in my rear pockets and they've stayed firm in there so I've just stopped worrying now. So when it comes to pockets, these get a 10 out of 10 review for me. These are my dream pockets and pretty much most of the reason why I ended up ordering these shorts. On to our third point, and that is style. And I've said this for the last couple, but it's a really personal thing again. But I must say, I love the look of these running shorts. Now, many of you may be thinking that the style of your running shorts isn't as important as, say, the materials, the length, or even the price. But I have to say, feeling cool when you run definitely makes you run faster. And these running shorts really just make me feel cool. I absolutely love the retro vibe of the Twilight collection from Tracksmith. It makes me feel like I'm in the cool old times going for an evening run or an evening race 
with some great friends and then going for beers afterwards. It always inspires me and helps me to get out for a run. I've got both a navy and a black pair and I can say with that kind of cream trim on them, they look absolutely ace. And so finally, well, let's talk about the price of these running shorts and they definitely don't come cheap. Although I must say, no running shorts really come that cheap nowadays. I paid £51 for the split shorts and £57 for the normal shorts. And definitely these are on the expensive side of running shorts. Although when you compare it to some of the offerings from Nike, they can definitely be in line with that upper tier, mid to upper tier of running shorts. You can definitely spend 20 or 30 pounds on a pretty good pair of running shorts, but it is easy to get carried away and spend 50, 60 or 70 pounds on a pair of running shorts, especially from smaller companies. I think whether or not the price of these shorts is worth it really comes down to what you need from a pair of running shorts. And I must say that the Tracksmith split shorts and the twilight shorts are definitely worth the price because they are the perfect shorts for me. And if you have similar requirements or things that you love about running shorts to me, then these will definitely be right for you, but they might not be right for everyone. To quickly sum up, these have very quickly become my favorite running shorts, but like I said, they might not be for everyone. If the length isn't right for you, if you're looking for a slightly thicker or a different material, maybe the style isn't right, or you need a phone pocket, whatever it may be, these running shorts might not be for you, but if they fulfill the niche set of needs that you have, just like they fulfill for me, then they are easily worth the price and they have quickly become my favorite running shorts for that reason. But let me know, am I crazy? Am I missing the best pair of running shorts? Leave a comment down below with your favorite, whether or not you've tried these ones, I'd love to hear that from you. On screen now is a list of my running shoe reviews, because if you like running shorts, you're almost definitely gonna like running shoes. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see some more, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.